Good morning, everyone. Uh, you hear me well like that? Do I need the, the mic? Yeah. Uh, first, uh, I got to say that uh, I'm born with a disease. Uh, I'm French speaking, so pardon me. Uh, I'm going to try to explain myself uh, as well as I can. Uh, we're here to discuss about uh, pre and post cam, and uh, that's what our company. Uh, is doing since uh, a couple of years, so I, I want to explain to you how we do it and uh, uh, what should be done. Uh, so first, uh, we're in the business since uh, 2011, so we assist uh, a, a repair shop to do their job uh, since 2011, so with scanner, with reprogramming and everything. Uh, we're 100% Canadian, uh, Team Extreme Tech uh, is from Quebec, uh, we're around the country, we're 100% Canadian. Uh, right now we provide tech support to around uh, 600 repair shop and uh, collision center uh, around the country. Uh, so we do it uh, with independent repair shop, we started with collision uh, uh, a couple of months ago. We specialize in uh, su uh, remote support and di on diagnostic tool and reprogramming tool also. Uh, we only do the, the, the support on uh, the, the tool. We're not uh, fixing any car on, on spot. We're doing uh, everything remote. <coughs> What's important is that we have a mechanical uh, team, uh, mechanical support team, and we also have an IT team. Because when we talk about scanner, Android platform, Windows base, uh, it's IT. It's not mechanical anymore. So uh, people in the shop need IT support also, as well as mechanical support. Uh, we have a, a, a training team. We're doing online training and on-site training uh, for those who want us to be on-site for the training. Uh, our team are bilingual. We speak. Uh, French and English, they speak better English than me, my, my IT. Uh, we have expertise in North American, Asian, and, Euro and European diagnostic software. So we work with OEM tool. At, uh, basically, we started work with OEM tool, and then we developed uh, a, a program for uh, the, the aftermarket because OEM tool is, is so expensive that you can't afford to have them all to, to, to do the job. Uh, so I'm going to start with what we don't see in vehicles. I know that there's a lot of people talking about it, but these are all uh, computers that uh, control the, mecha the, the mechanical thing that we had before, uh, and it's under the, bo the body. So as, as soon as something happened to the body, there is a wire, there's sensor and everything. So we need to at least see if everything is OK. So the purpose of the pre and post scan. If we start there, uh, the OEM will re require the pre and post scan to keep the vehicle wa uh, warranty uh, because they don't want to spend money on a vehicle on warranty if uh, things have happened uh, when uh, the, the collision happened. So the main goal is to be sure that the vehicle has been correctly fixed. Uh, so, uh, in any future time, the, the, the customer go at the OEM, the, the, the dealership, and says uh, he has a problem with the car. Uh, we want to prove that it, it, it was not due to the collision. So, the goal is to see no code. So, we cannot just say there's a light. We're going to check it out because we want to prove that when we leave the vehicle, when we leave the vehicle to the customer, there was no code. If a scan shows no code, neither before or after, it's going to be easy to say that it's not due to the, the collision or the, the, the repair that has been done uh, with the collision. So we want to prove that at the beginning, Maybe there was some fault code, and then explain if it's due to the collision or not. And then at the end, we want to prove that there is no code anymore in the, the vehicle. Every recent vehicle that comes to a collision repair center should be scanned. When I mean recent, it's 2010 and more. Uh, from what I think, I'm not here to, to make the law, but from what we observe. 
first to protect the repair shop because this is the one that's going to be protected from having fees that they cannot afford. To protect the insurance company because the insurance company is going to be able to say, okay, the car has been correctly fixed, so the, the OEM needs to respect the, the warranty. To protect the vehicle owner also because he trusts the, the, the body shop he, he left the car to. So what it means, this is an, an insurance policy. Do you understand? This is our insurance policy that the job is well done. The fact, there is up to 15,000 fault code in the recent car. Roughly 10 morning light in the instrument cluster. I make a lot of code for each light. Around 80% electronics in the car. Average of 10 day rental bill by invoice. So the, 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 the shop leave a car to the customer for around 10 days. This is the average for, uh, for the, an average repair in the collision industry in Canada in 2016. For the year 2016, 93% of the initial estimate were supplemented. 93%. By the way, this is 20% more than 2014. $968 average dollar for each supplement. More than 60% of these supplements were related to electronics. We all know we need to do something, but how to do it? So what should be done? For, from what we see uh, being on the field with, uh, with the repair shop. Don't wait of one, to one of the this, uh, 10 uh, instrument cluster light light. We need to check it out, even if there's no light light in the instrument cluster. What about if the instrument cluster have a fault because of the collision? We rely on the instrument cluster to see if we do a pre or post scan. Don't depend on a third party to always do the job. Third party has, are good, but, but you cannot depend on it every time you need to do a job, remotely or not. <coughs> on the spot or remotely, uh, we need to do a job. This is a new part of our job that we have to, to do and afford, but how to do it, this is a, the, the point. We need to have access to live data or code from the vehicle. If we want to confirm a repair in the middle of, of the, the job, <coughs> let's say you, you reinstall a, a bumper cover with the, 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 the sensor, will be, would you prefer to check it if the code is, uh, is uh, erased before to go into the painting room or you want to wait the post scan to remove the bumper back we need to see it in the middle of the job if we don't do it the, the job is going to take a lot more time get the right tool for the right job we need to do but what is, it, what is the right tool that's the point because uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, explanation about the right tool. Uh, we're not say, selling tool, we're just selling support and we try to find the best way to do it for you. We should know how to use that tool too. It's not to have the right tool. We need to use it in the shop and somebody must know how to use it. Being able to do it by yourself and access to tech support and information as need. If we need it, we have backup. But we do uh, uh, something by our, ourselves. We, we cannot rely on every time on somebody else. So what, what Team Extreme Tech do can do for the, the collision industry? Do I speak too fast? Team Extreme Tech. Team Extreme Tech is not a tool vendor. I don't have any tool to present here. Why? Because we support about any tool from the OEM 
to the aftermarket, but the goal is to get the best tool. We have tested about all the tools on the market to find out the best one. There are some that are closed. We came back with something, but there are some that are closed around the, the almost as good, though, but we, we have to support one. We have spent about eight months, me and my team, in Collision Repair Center to see the reality because we were used to, to uh, work with a repair center, a mechanic repair, repair center, and your reality is completely different. That's what we, we had to figure out. The car you fix are, are uh, a lot uh, newer, and uh, the, 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 the big thing I saw is you, the, the collision center need to leave the car as it was brand new. This is not the way it, it's done in the repair center. So sometimes in the repair center, they say to the customer, okay, come back if the check engine light come, comes on uh, back again. You cannot afford to do that. You have to leave the car running well. The need of pre and post scan is, is undeniable. Also the need of keeping the job in the shop without having, having to send it anywhere else. Because this, this is going to be a big part of your job in a few years. If you start selling this job to somewhere else, what's going to happen? We want to keep it as simple and as useful as it can be. So the, the, the goal is we know that most of the, 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 the collision repair shop don't have mechanical team, don't have a technician and may even never have a, a scan tool on hand. So we need to come with a solution that's easy to use. What is the best tool? It's the OEM. I cannot argue on this. This is the best tool you can have. But in the shop connected to the vehicle, this is the way to do it. Because when we do it pass-through, what we call pass-through is uh, via internet, the problem is we depend on the connection, the internet connection. And whatever happened with the internet connection can fail the, a, a reprogram or a diagnostic. <coughs> By the way, uh, uh, almost all of the manufacturers used to work with pass-through and stopped doing it in the 2010. what cost these are the best tool to use this is the final invoice for the 16 uh, important manufacturer 100,000 dollars the first year and 66,000 if you want to get all the scan tool in the shop for 16 uh, most popular manufacturer the $66,000 is the access to the software at the end of the year. And for most of them, if you don't renew the, the, the subscription, the tool don't work. <laughs> you cannot afford to not update it. So it doesn't make sense. Yes, this is the right tool, but is there an in-between? Maybe. OEM or not, by the way, when OEM say, you should use the OEM uh, for their device is made by Bosch, what can you say? GM also, and Y Tech from Chrysler is made by Snap-on. OEM don't make tool, don't build tool. It's the aftermarket making tool for the OEM. So they cannot say you cannot use aftermarket, that's what they use. The needs. Find the best tool for the workshop. I talk about it a lot, but I don't have tool to present because we find one, but uh, there are some others, but the, we prefer this one for the support. It's the Hotel Maxisys MS908. I mean, I put the point on the 908, not the 906, like some, some people suggest, because the 906 is oriented for tower shop. It has a, a beautiful TPMS display to replace tower pressure sensor. What? 
it's not your part of the job. What you want to do is initialization of sensor, of module, of weight sensor, passenger presence, and everything. This is all done with the 908. It made the pre and post scan and everything. And for your reality, the feature in this scanner for us is the best tool. I don't say there is no other tool. So find the best tool. Find an easy method so virtually anybody in the shop can do a pre or post scan. You know what? It don't, it don't take a, a mechanical technician to do that. Most of the shop we implement our system is the, the people who wash the car that do the pre and post scan. Because they see the car at the beginning and they see the car at the end. Or it can be the estimator, but you don't have to bother one of your tech that uh, uh, paint the car. In a few clicks, it needs to be done fast. Because we want to, to, to continue the job and we want to affect less possible the, 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 the way the shop is doing right now its job with implementing an auto scan, uh, a pre scan and a post scan. What's important is at any time of the day or the night or the weekend, if you wait for a third party to do it for you, you have labor time. I'm not saying it's not good, but the problem is if you work on Saturday or over, if you have a team overnight because you have too much job, you're limited. With remote support, right on the tool, on demand, if needed, because the, the goal is to be autonomous, but with backup. To have access to repair info, because what we, we, we figure is uh, the collision uh, estimator, the, the, the Mitchell collision or uh, uh, all data collision, uh, sometimes they don't have wiring diagram and, and a repair procedure. And if they have it, the team in the shop don't know where to use it. So it would be easy for a couple of dollars to get it by email, by, by somebody that knows what they do. On demand training, on the vehicle being repaired, you need to relearn keys. OK, the scanner does it. Is the tech do it? Maybe not. Does he have the info to do it? Does he have the pin code for, to relearn key? We have everything. We have a VSP license. We can provide a uh, security uh, code for, for key relearn. We can do, it, do the job within the scanner with the tech in the shop. So you only have to push button, as we say, uh, go there, go there. But the rest of the time for the pre and post scan, they can do it by themselves in the shop without use of our system, uh, of, our, of our team, uh, tech support team. Have access to OEM tool, because the OEM tool is important for some job, but buying it for the shop, it, it, it's not reliable. So we have all the OEM tool that we can send, send as need. So we have it all. We, it's all configured. Uh, the shop needs it. Send it to you later. It takes two days. Anyway, if we, we make a pre-scan, we know that we have to replace an airbag module. We order it. We order, you order the, 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 the OEM tool. They, they come at the shop at the same time. You do the job, send back the, the OEM tool. Being autonomous with backup on, uh, on the tool at any time would be the best thing on the shop. The undeniable. Training is essential to keep up with technology. Everybody on your shop need training. If you rely on the blank screen without knowing what happened when the pre post scan is done, there's no training at all there. Tech support is the key to success in every shop. In 2015, at every dealership, GM dealership in North America, every job that, that came in, 43% of the time, they called tech support to get the job done. 43% at GM dealership. 
They have the GM tool. They have the GM info. Everybody in the shop work on GM. And they still call for tech support 43% of the time. And you guys, without scanner, without shop manual, without trained technician, you can do the job. Workshop needs, need to be autonomous with lower repair costs and more, uh, and it has to be more efficient. So you, if they are autonomous, it's gonna lower the repair cost because it's gonna stay in the shop and it's gonna be more efficient. We're gonna deliver the car two or three days before the time because we don't have to send it back. We don't have supplement. We don't uh, call for a module that we didn't knew was faulty because we didn't make the pre-scan. Having the right tool is fundamental. Being able to use it is vital. If we cannot use it, even if you have the tool, you cannot do with the tool. Access to OEM tool is an advantage, but it's not the basic point right now. Right now is to do a pre and post scan. And there are some tools that does it a lot better than an OEM tool, not for the, the, the communication with the module because the module, uh, if it's not communicating with, with the scan tool for recent vehicle, the other module that don't see it are gonna tell it, hey, I'm not communicating with the, the ABS module. You, you won't communicate with the ABS module, but the, the airbag module is gonna tell that there's no communication with the uh, ABS module. So the, the car is gonna tell what module doesn't work in the car. But the problem is, it's not the communication with the, the, the module, is how to make a uniform report that tells everything for every car at the same time, at, at, on the same format. So what's in tune with our, our system? Uh, we work with the DOEM repair info. We also have Mitchell all that those, so we have access to all the information for the repair. Uh, it can be it can be aware, but just a, a crash sensor be on a Volkswagen Jetta 2011. Where it is exactly? The collision estimator don't tell it. You can remove them all to see which one is it. But if you know that, you have to remove the speaker on the driver door, and it's right there. <coughs> It's easy to repair. So we have an, uh, an online IT support. <coughs> we have instant remote support on tool. So make a request on our website from any scanner that uh, link to the internet or any uh, computer. And within 10 minutes, we have a tech in the scanner ready to help. We're going to show uh, this afternoon. Uh, online one-on-one -on -one training. A tech in the shop need training on any system in a car, any car, uh, make an appointment, two hour next Monday, two o'clock in the afternoon, and we're gonna have a, a, a tech jump in the scan tool remotely and by, via telephone, and we, we, we're gonna make the job together and make the training with the tech in the shop. So for the car, you need to repair. Uh, we got a forum, we got over 600 uh, repair shop on the forum that share information. That's accessible with uh, shop that have our, uh, our system. So uh, they jump in the forum, we have a live tech support there that answer the, the basic question with no cost. And then just a matter of, I, I have this thing to relearn. Does the scan tool can do it? Yes, okay, no. It takes the OEM. You want us to send you, back, uh, you the OEM tool? So it saves money just to ask the question on this forum and have an answer now. Mechanical support, we have a mechanical support team. So uh, uh, whatever if it's a printer that doesn't work with the scanner, we have an IT team. Or if it's connection with the car, we have a mechanical support team. So we have both to help the technician in the car and uh, in the shop. So the pre-post-scan system installation. 
Il requires Hotel Maxi 6, like I said, MS 908, 908 Pro, 908, 908 Pro, 8 Pro, or 908 Elite. But it, ne it needs a 908. So what we do, we do the remote ins installation of the scan tool in the shop. When, whether they have the tool or we sell them the tool, doesn't matter. Uh, we don't sell tool, we sell support on this tool. Uh, initialization, account creation, <coughs> registration, uh, configuration, and device update. We, we do it all. Internet, uh, we set up the internet, the workshop network uh, configuration, the printer configuration, and an email in the scan tool. So when we produce a report of a scan, there's a, a button to press, send it, send it to the email you want it to, to have. So it's, if it's the email of the estimator in the shop, the estimator himself send, send them an email from the tool. Uh, remote assist uh, on software ins installation. So uh, we do all the software installation on the, the, the tool. So uh, pre and post scan is, are quite easy to do. This is three, three button to push to do a pre or post scan. Shop manager configuration, so all the, the detail uh, we've been asked by the insurer in Quebec are on this report. So we, we put it, it all on the report. You can have the tool, but what's going to be the report like? Functional test, we make a functional test to make sure everything works. And demonstration for uh, uh, the, the user to how to make a request, how to use the tool. There's two other training that we provide when uh, we supply the, the, the support. So this is the, the what, what's included in the training. So remote training and interactive uh, training. Uh, when you want, the people want in the shop at the time they want, and we do uh, training with unlimited uh, participant access. Uh, two hour uh, for <coughs> diagnostic, uh, for feature and di uh, on the diagnostic tool. Uh, basic using of, of Maxi tool uh, feature uh, all install system so tech and the shop can use it by themselves. If they, they, they don't know how to use it, they make a request, we jump in and uh, we do the, 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 the job with them. Uh, we explain about the, the Team Extreme Tech website and how to do a support request, how to properly connect with the, t the tool to the vehicle and we practice on the tool in the shop with the tech. So we, we're, you're not leaving by your own uh, when you buy a, a tool or you have a tool with our support. And the, the next is a two hour training on pre -post scan. So how to do a pre -post scan, who's gonna do it, uh, how it's gonna done, uh, where we send the, the email, what we are doing with the, the, the data. So everything is there. Um, <coughs> I. And also, I wanted to talk about the freeze frame. I've been asked about the freeze frame. This is important, even if you make a report, if you don't know how to get the freeze frame and how to analyze the freeze frame. The freeze frame are when the code has been set. Is it at the accident, before the accident, when we disconnect a sensor while we were repairing it? This is important to know when it happened and all the Team Extreme Tech feature. Uh, I, I just want one minute just to show your, uh, you uh, our website, what it's like our website. Just to have an idea how to make a request in the shop, they go on our website, teamextremetech.ca. Uh, they click on Maxis' support, they access to their uh, account, and then they, they choose from mechanical support to IT support. Let's say mechanical support, fill the case, and click submit. Within 10 minutes, we we end the tool to help. This is as easy as that. Question? No question? <laughs> Did you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We will ask questions this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Table. Thank you. Everybody ready? Okay, so what, what they see? You, you see the Maxisys menu on the 
Okay, we gotta understand. We gotta understand. There's two things going on: is the pre post scan, and also the the info that we need from the vehicles to be to get in the right vehicle uh, to get the right data. So how it's gonna work with the scan tool? We, we're in the scan scan tool menu. We click on uh, we click on diagnostic and VIN check auto detect that's going to detect the VIN of the vehicle that should <laughs> oh. oh is the key on on the, the this vehicle <laughs> Very important. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Was it on? Is it? It is now. Okay. Auto detect. So it detect the VIN, and you just have to say okay, and then after. As you see, it's going to ask for uh, the, 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 the vehicle body code. That's a problem if you're remote and you don't have access to talk with a technician online, uh, remote on the tool or uh, other else. So if you know that it's the seven and eight digit you need to choose, you go on the, 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 the VIN number and read the seven and eight digit that are AU for this one. So these are kind of things that maybe you, you would need support to do a pre post scan, but most of the time it can be done by, by, by yourself. The problem is you need to have access if it's a tech at the other end doing the job and you, you cannot talk with him, how is going to know what, what are the, the digits for, for the engine or something like that. So you have access in the shop if not we can help you you just ask and we jump on the tool so it's au it's a 2015 it's a wagon we want one all code so diagnostic and we start the auto scan the scanner is going, is going to scan all the module in the vehicle and come back with the the, uh, uh, the report with the code it takes about four or five minutes uh, not that much. Uh, newer are the vehicles, faster it is. So if you go on the 2007 or 8, uh, you're gonna it, maybe it's gonna take 15 minutes. But on, on this case, maybe uh, three, four minutes while we're talking, uh, it doing the, the the print post scan. Is there somebody having a, a, a an email address that's uh, short that I can uh, I can show you out? to send an email from the report. Brigitte? <laughs> Not there? So we're, we're doing the, the, the scan. You see, we have 50%. The, the important uh, with new vehicle is the monitor, the, the battery voltage. So you see on the screen, it's at uh, 14 volt. That's OK. We don't want to go down uh, lower than 12.5 uh, because there's some fault code that won't appear. Uh, under 12.5 uh, so it's really important uh, if uh, we do a pre post scan be sure that the battery is in good condition and uh, maybe a battery maintainer so we get all the fault code uh, there's two things that can happen so we cannot communicate with module who will not have all the codes is a wrong battery voltage or being in a wrong vehicle so uh, that happens more than often <laughs> so it's 100% uh, if I want to generate a, a, a report, I just hit report. And then visually, you, you're going to see on the screen all the, 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 the module with how many codes, how many DTC on for each module. And if you go down, you're going to see all the, for each module, all the, the, the DTC description. So. You see here, uh, starter does not turn. You will print out the report or just when you can see on the screen? Pardon? Does it will, it will print out the report? Or? 
Yes, if you hit the, the, the save button here, you can save all data or you can save just the page you see. So it's better saving all data. It's going to ask for a, a file name. What I suggest is to put the work order number. So you're going to be having access to the right vehicle when you send it to the, the estimator. And it's going to be said in the subject of the email, the, 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 the work order number. So uh, you're sure it's going to be in the same, uh, at the, uh, the right file. So I'm, I'm going to write vehicle one. This is for saving the, for saving the, 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 the scan. If you prefer sending out directly uh, to an e e email address, uh, you can print it there or you can send it to an email that's pre uh, probably configured in the, the scan tool. So it's search printer, they, they it don't have printer right now. If you want to go to see the freeze frame, we talk about freeze frame. Uh, there's two ways to do it. Uh, sometimes in the menu, you get access to freeze frame. There's a little uh, snowflake uh, on the right corner. When there's no, uh, it's not there. You just have to enter the, the, the proper module. You, you want to see the freeze frame. So you click on the engine control module. And you go and read code, and for the freeze for the, the code that the the manufacturer provides the freeze frame because it's not the scanner that the, who does not provide the freeze frame. It's the manufacturer put the freeze frame with the code or not. So the scanner reads what the manufacturer puts on. So you see the the, the little snowflake uh, starter does not start. When did that happen? You click on the. This, this one is not supported by the manufacturer, so the manufacturer don't give us the... If I click for the, the, the other DTC, the mileage, the date, and the time that could happen. You see it? That's pretty cool. So this is everything we, we teach you when we, we give the, 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 the training uh, in the shop. How to do that? It's pretty easy. Once you did it one time or two times, it's pretty easy to do. You don't have to, have to rely to a third party to do that. So you don't have to spend money every time you, you do a pre scan on us to have our support if you know how to do it and how to, uh, to take it out. That's good for that. Do you, do you want to try another vehicle? This one? Perfect. I was just disconnected. Uh, So as you see, no need to be close to the vehicle. The The estimator can be in this office if the car is within 400 feet and it can scan, scan the car from his office to... Uh, I'm going to just disconnect from the, the, the Volkswagen. Yes. And I just hit again vehicle scan. Uh, I entered in the wrong... Uh, I want to go too fast. Yeah, uh, we're going to see it right now. So I'm going to scan for the VIN, auto detect. It's going to tell us the mileage when, uh, once you, we're going to log to the vehicle. The voltage is only 20, 10, uh, 10 volt on the, this vehicle. You see on the right upper corner. It detects the VIN. I click OK. 
This is a master. It can take about one minute. So the, the scanner is going to decode all the, the module in the car. And then after, the, the, the scan is going to be a lot faster than other manufacturers. So it's not work like uh, a Volkswagen. Volkswagen, we jump right now in the module menu. And then it takes uh, a while to do the free post scan. Right now, it, the scanner has identified vehicle. So it's a 2.5, uh, and then it's going to ask question. That's where, if you don't have access, if you are remote with a tech, and you don't have access to talk to him, and it's going to ask, does this vehicle is equipped with navigation? How does the tech at the other end know that? Unless he calls you. But now he calls you, you call him. Uh, you don't want to do that that way. You, you, you want a remote support or not, but if you do it by yourself, it's easy. And then after, if there's something you don't understand on the question, we're always there to help you on, on that after then. Diagnostic, auto scan again. It's, gonna start, it, it's as easy as that. We can do a uh, the four in 15 minutes. And the beauty of that is you get 10 cars in a row. You do them all. And then you send the, 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 the report after. But you're going to have the report when you want. And, or you can scan them the 10 and send the report or one at a time. But the thing is, you control the, the, the tool. So now it's scanning. It, there's 11 modules in this car. I didn't calculate how, how many in the other. So we're at, we're at the 100%. What I suggest when I when we train people to do pre post scan is we make two two initial report. I won't do it by now because I don't want to erase the the photo. But the best way to do it is to generate a report of the initial pre-scan. And then you, we get a report there for a battery under voltage. We see it uh, on the screen. Uh, after we did this report, we escape and press quick erase. That's going to erase all the code that are temporary and all the, the live code are, are going to stay there. So, you can generate the first report with all the code that can be there since a long time. And then you erase them all, and you have all the live code that are there. So it generates two reports, but it's not longer than generate one. It takes uh, a, a one or two minutes more to generate the two reports, one with all the code. And uh, that's OK for this one. Any question? Another one? You're good? Any question? You want to see for the, I just want to show you something then. I'm going to disconnect the, it's, do you hear me like that? Yeah. I'm going to disconnect this. You want to hold it? I'm going to connect my laptop. I'm going to show you how it is when, do you see the, the, the screen online uh, on the TV? Yes. Yes. I'm connected to the scanner. OK, so I can go back. OK, I'm controlling the scanner. The beauty of our system with this scanner, and one of the reasons uh, we choose this scanner is if you have hard time finding something on the car, let's say uh, the RPO number on the GM, that it's a, it's a sticker on the, uh, in the glove box, my tech is going to say, OK, show me where you are. So he's going to hit the camera button. And he's going to see what you see in the, the, the shop. The internet is not that fast. But we can see what you see in the shop. So you have problem. It's not just chatting. It's we see you. That's good? Any question? 
Did you understand? <laughs> Thank you.